Welcome to another edition of Wealth Without Borders. And today I'm delighted to have with me Lauren Cohen. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Howard. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, whereabouts are you in the world, Lauren? And what's the weather like today? Well, today is the now tonight. It's 8.06 p.m. An exciting day in our world today because it was the inauguration of the new president of the United States. And no matter what your politics Inauguration is always a big deal. Um, I'm originally from that country at the top of my background, Canada, mm. and now I'm in South Florida. So today was actually beautiful, uh, sunny, warm, lovely day. And tonight is um, probably in the, I don't know, 20s Celsius. Um, can't complain, I, no. especially considering where I'm originally from. It's probably in the minus five or eight or something like that. Yeah. Not not so pleasant. So what a lovely not so pleasant. Lovely place to be in Florida. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Lauren, Lauren is a serial entrepreneur. Uh, she's an international lawyer, she's a realtor and a cross-border expert. And as Lauren mentioned, she's originally from Canada, in fact, Toronto, now in South Florida. And Lauren's also a best-selling author and a sought-after speaker, and she launched her podcast, Investing Across Borders, in late 2020. Lauren's Good thing it's not called Wealth Across Borders, or you would have thought well, I plagiarized. <laughs> I would. Well, yeah. you know, it, we, we share a similar ethos, Lauren. That's for sure. <laughs> and I guess Lauren's overriding goal is to help clients navigate the path to both invest, live, work, and play across borders. So her superpower, in fact, rests in paving a path to immigration visas through real estate investments. And today's podcast title is How to Painlessly Invest in Real Estate Across Borders. So I'm personally and professionally fascinated by this. And um, as you know, Lauren, it's eight questions in just eight minutes. So are you ready to tell us how to painlessly invest? I sure hope so. Fantastic. Am so, I getting graded or something? I just need to know. Uh, no, you're not getting graded, just timed. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you may get graded by our listeners in terms of getting five stars, which I know you will. <laughs> I hope so, because otherwise I'm quitting. <laughs> okay. So you heard that, guys. It's five stars or... Or bust. Bust, exactly. <laughs> okay, so eight minutes to go. Question number one, who's your ideal client? My ideal client is a real estate investor or an aspiring real estate investor that wants to develop their investment portfolio, not only in their home country, but across borders and, and internationally. Fantastic. And seven minutes, 40 remaining. Question number two, what's the problem that you solve in that cross-border investing? The frustration of going to a bunch of different places and not getting the right answers and trying to figure out who to talk to, who's the right professional. I'm the quarterback. I hold everybody accountable. I'm your basically your, your right hand. I help you through the whole process and manage everything. And I am the accountability partner, literally your quarterback to make sure that everything is done properly in a timely manner so that you can invest, live, work and play anywhere. Fantastic. What a wonderful uh, role to facilitate that. And just over seven minutes remaining. Question number three, what are the typical symptoms people experience who have this frustrating problem of trying to invest across borders? Well, uh, the, the biggest problem is that they don't know where to start. They don't know once they start, if they're doing it right. They don't get the right guidance at the outset. They try to do things themselves. They don't realize the importance of professional guidance. And there's nobody to take them step by step through the process. Whether they're planning to immigrate or not to another country, just investing across borders is extremely complicated because now you have not only your home country's rules, but the subject country's rules and the cross-border rules. And there's a lot to think about. Right. So multiple problems, in fact. So six minutes, 13 remaining. Question number four, what are the common mistakes that people make when they're trying to solve all those problems themselves? Well, the biggest challenge is that they create a lot of legal problems for themselves. 
a lot of tax problems. They, a, a lot of people, especially investing into the U.S., there's so many companies that help you invest in the U.S., but they pay no attention to your home country. And so here you are, suddenly you're investing and they're like, here's your plan. But what happens when you go back to England or go back to Canada or when you file your tax return in China or wherever? Nobody's giving you that guidance and looking at both sides. So you're going to end up with a lot of challenges and you may end up losing a lot of money and having a lot of legal problems in the process. Right. So really wise to take counsel before leaping across borders. So wise. <laughs> five minutes, 20 remaining. Question number five, what's one valuable free action you can give to people checking out the show today that they can implement that will help them to solve some of that problem? Consult with a cross-border tax advisor before you do anything at all. Because if you don't, I don't, I don't care who you are. I don't care how smart you are. Go to the expert. Just always go to the expert and don't try to become an expert yourself because, you know, we, we are trained to be experts for a reason. Go to law school. We become accountants. We get trained as realtors. There are professionals in their professions. Use them and abuse them as much as you can. Right. And when it comes to abusing them, just very quickly, is there a, a free consultation part of that service? From me, yes, there is a free okay. consultation. I absolutely offer a free, um, a free expo exploratory uh, consultation to all of my listeners. Absolutely. Great. And we'll put links to that for people mm -hmm. checking out the show. Four minutes, 15 remaining. Question number six, what's a valuable free resource that you can direct people to that will further help them with this problem? So I have two downloads that I'd like to offer. One is called the Go Global Report, which I'll give you a coupon code to access. It's a $47 value. And the other is called How to Invest in Real Estate Across Borders Painlessly, also a $47 value, also a coupon code to access for free. So those are two really valuable reports that walk you through the process and help you to understand the scope of what you need to do. Oh, great. Well, that is very generous of you. And we really appreciate that. Thank you so My much. Pleasure. Uh, three minutes, 33 remaining question. Number seven, what concept or book or talk or program has been most impactful in your experience, Lauren? The E-Myth by far. The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, whom I've had the pleasure of meeting and consulting with extensively. It teaches you that you cannot be work in your business. You need to work on your business and bring in teams of people and, and uh, professionals and, and virtual assistants, everybody, so that you can work on your business. You're not constantly working in your business. And I think every entrepreneur is guilty of working in their business at some given point. But if you work on your business, you're going to be able to scale. Yeah, absolutely. I can. I love that book. And in fact, another book subsequent to that, which is also brilliant. So I'm so jealous that you've met many me. of them. He did one for every single profession. Yeah. And then he did. a. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, love. Great, great book to recommend. So two minutes, 34 remaining. Question number eight. What's the one question I should have asked you that I didn't <laughs> that you feel will give great value to our audience? Why should you hire me? OK. And um, what what was the, what's the answer to that? Lauren? Oh, I get a bonus round now. <laughs> yeah, a bonus. Yeah. Well, because I really understand. So I am an, an immigrant like you. I came from Canada. It may not be a noticeable. I'm not a noticeable immigrant. You can't just look look at me and know that I'm from another country, but I am. I don't have a noticeable accent, but I still have a little bit of an accent. I spell words funny. I use Z instead of Z. But the reality is that I've been there and done that. My ex-husband was deported on the way back from our honeymoon and I was pushed or forced into this, this immigration world. And I knew I had to do something to have an impact. And I'm a very impact driven entrepreneur. I'm not a typical lawyer. I'm not a typical entrepreneur. And I'm definitely not a typical realtor. I'm all of those packaged into one. So I have the professionalism and the business acumen and the understanding and the scope of knowledge and the expertise to guide you through this process painlessly. Fantastic. Well, you've got, uh, you've come in with a world record in the Wealth Without Borders. Awesome. I love that. I love setting yeah. records. So you hit, you've done eight questions in seven minutes. So everyone, round of applause if you're listening. Yay. Thank you. Just, we've got one minute. We've got time for a bonus question, which really... Uh -oh. Uh, 
just a quick just curiosity um we've meant we've talked about um best-selling book can you just talk a little bit about that for one minute um so i wrote a book in 2017 called finding your silver lining in the business immigration process and the book is about all of the essential and important business immigration visas that are available to inbound immigrants to the u.s so um i wrote that book and Really, it's been a great resource for people, a great resource for me. It talks about all the different visas that can give anybody like a lot, a lot, a lot of your um, of your uh, Brits love this book. I'm part, I'm actually of counsel to a Facebook group called Moving to Florida from the UK. And every month, the woman who runs it, who's a good friend of mine, gives away one of my books and people are like vying for it and guessing numbers. And it's a lot of fun. So um, I wrote that book basically because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you have to write a book. But um, I also wrote a book on franchises, which was which was a much um, it wasn't actually published as a physical book, but uh, it was great. And I love writing. So great. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for um, giving us uh, just a brief outline of those books. And um, is it OK? Can we put some links to those books into the podcast? Absolutely. Fantastic. Great. Well, thank you, Lauren. You have packed a massive amount of value into a minimal amount of time, which is a great skill in itself. And thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I'm going to put some links in here for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Many thanks for checking out Wealth Without Borders podcast. I'd love you to head over to iTunes, subscribe and leave us a review. And if you'd be kind enough to do that, I would really appreciate it. And then if you want to know more about what I do, check out wealthwithoutborders.net.